What up YouTube, Jeep and Bubba here. Today we're doing a uh, update video. And uh, I usually do them in my office, but decided to do them in the shop because the weather's so nice. Um, and it's, I, well, I gotta clean the shop. That's my old jerky bin that I use to hold uh, bolts and nuts and stuff like that. And, and uh, I gotta pick up some tools. There's an old intake from a JL behind me. And I'm actually sitting in an old YJ seat on the ground. I'm gonna sit you guys up against an impact that's sitting in a, uh, a little rolly chair. Let's see if that works. Uh, let's get you guys a little closer. Man, it looks like we got sponsored by Toyo in this video. <laughs> hey, I'd love to get a Toyo sponsor. Or Nitto. That'd be great. Falcon. Actually, I've been doing a lot for Falcon Tire recently without meaning to. Uh, and what I mean is, if you guys are on TikTok, I just had a video go viral on TikTok. So go check me out on there, Jeep and Bubba. But uh, I don't know if you guys saw, I got an adjustable wrench or an adjustable hammer, as they call it, uh, stuck in my tire tread. And I had to cut it out with a knife. And uh, I just happened to post the video on TikTok, and we've gone over 500,000 views now on TikTok. And the uh, uh, I've I've gained I'm closing on 10,000 followers. And when I posted the video, I think I was around 2,500. So I've just like exploded on there. Uh, for all I know, Trump shuts down uh, TikTok, and it doesn't mean anything. But uh, you know. I, I, I don't know anything about whether we should shut down TikTok or not, but while the platform's hot, I do know if you care about getting your message out, you better be posting, and you never know what video's going to hit, and that one kind of uh, hit for me. So I got a little bit of a shadow right here, so I'm going to turn the hat around. Hope that's uh, acceptable with you folks. I'm growing my hair out a little bit. Um, that looks like Trump hair right there. But, uh, yeah, in the winter, I get my hair grown back out. We get the beard nice and long. And uh, and uh, in summertime, we trim it all, and people are like, oh, we didn't know you had hair, and we didn't know you, man, I cannot get that to look right. That looks weird. I look like Shelby. Go look up the Blackbird video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Sorry, Shelby, I'm not trying to call you out. Anyways, let's get into some serious topics, okay? Today is Friday, October the 23rd, at least that's what my phone told me right before I got on this video. And uh, right now, at this moment, uh, Kyle and Nathan and Andrew of, the, of um, Good Bros are headed to Windrock to go do some wheeling. And we're going to join them tomorrow, Saturday the 24th. Uh, I'll probably get there about 6 p.m., 5, 6, 5 or 6 p.m. Um, and I'll be wheeling all day Sunday. They're going to wheel maybe today, but I know they're wheeling sun, uh, Saturday. Looks like there might be some rain on Saturday, so uh, but Sunday looks clear, and I plan on running uh, Panther Creek and I think Trail 19. I, I want to get uh, some more Badge of Honor trails uh, under my belt. One for content and video for you guys, but also because I'm uh, I've just gotten into it recently. I want more of those badges. I got the itch to just collect and get those badges. Um, I, I thought I had 12 badges, but I actually have 12 trail check-ins. Um, so I've been to the Rubicon twice and Beasley I've been to I think three times now uh, I didn't check in the last time I think we were there but uh, I have 10 badges if I could pull off two more at Windrock you know that gets me a 12 there's three at Windrock uh, I just don't know if I'll have enough time Sunday or uh, I'm bringing the JL so I don't know if I should risk the JL uh, or not if it's that hard of a trail we'll see we're gonna play it by ear Maybe we'll get three, lucky number 13. Uh, but I'm really close to moving up to whatever the next level is. I think past trail commander on the Jeep Badge of Honor. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, if you're not a Jeeper, let me move you guys in just a little bit. Uh, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Jeep has an app called the Jeep Badge of Honor. And there's all these trails that they've uh, deemed Badge of Honor trails. And uh, they'll send you a hard copy, like a hard badge that you can put on your Jeep or wherever you want. I've held on to mine in my drawer for a while till I find my forever Jeep. I don't know. LJ's been so mean to me that I don't know if it's my forever Jeep or not. Maybe I should get a Comanche or something. Um, I actually did purchase a Suzuki Sidekick uh, this week. And um, I don't know what's going to happen with it. Uh, it needs a motor put into it. So that's the next project video you'll see in here. And that's... Let me get to the point. 
What I want to talk to you guys about in this update video is what you need to expect to see over the next couple weeks because I'm going to be throwing all kind of stuff at you guys and I really want you guys to see this. Ultimately, I'm ramping up right now. I have noticed that not a lot of my contemporaries are really putting out as much content because they're not going to as many shows, not wheeling as much, there's a safety risk. Um, and I've just noticed that people are struggling to get parts like they're, uh, well, we're, we've been waiting weeks and weeks for a couple lifts. Uh, I mean, I'm on like four weeks on some parts currently. And uh, I think the manufacturers are just being quiet during this time. Some of them, some of them are putting out content. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm striking. I'm striking while I think the iron's hot because people are buying and they're building and they're going outside more than ever and they're overlanding. And uh, so I'm trying to ramp up and do as many things as I can because I would love to go full-time as soon as possible with Black Bear Off-Road. Now I'm here, I say full-time, I mean 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can come by Monday through Friday and see me. Right now we're still appointment only, but we're still putting in probably 30 hours a week, if not more here at the shop and uh, we'll get to that but uh, I'm trying to ramp up get the name out so guys girls everyone listening uh, it's aliens that might be tuning in make sure if you were on YouTube TikTok Facebook Instagram Tumblr actually we're not on Tumblr uh, Twitter uh, LinkedIn I don't know just any of those places uh, then you can hop on and look up Jeep and Bubba and Black Bear. So Black Bear's on Instagram, Facebook. That's it for Black Bear. And then Jeep and Bubba's on all those other ones I mentioned besides Tumblr. We're not on Tumblr. I'm not worried about that. And then if you want to check out our podcast, you just search Jeep and Bubba on Apple or Spotify or Rocket Cast. And we're ramping those up too. We're putting those out as, as many as we can. So just did one on camping. And we're going to be doing one on the Black Bear Pass. We're going to be doing a bunch of stuff. And as I mentioned the Black Bear Pass, just so you know, one of the next videos coming out soon is the Imogene uh, Pass uh, video. And uh, one thing I wanted to mention about that is currently there are some fires in the San Juan Mountains. And we're, if you guys uh, if you've ever been there or seen pictures, it's just a beautiful, beautiful area. It's not heavily populated, but there are a lot of towns. And uh, it's just a beautiful area, and I hate to see it burn. I, I'm concerned about the people, the firemen, the animals, uh, and they've just been had a hard year with their industry. They've had, uh, you know, early on in the year less tourists than ever, and so they opened the trails early and hope to bring some of that money in. But they've been faced by a lot of challenges. So um, there's a couple things you can do. You can uh, you can donate. I saw the Silverton Fire Department, which is mostly volunteers has a PayPal on there accepting donations. Um, you can keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, you can check out the San Juan's Mountain Trail Group. And they, uh, they they post a lot of things about different things you can do. Check out Michael Maxfield. He's kind of the ringleader behind all that. And uh, there's some great information you can keep up to date. But those people are definitely on our hearts and minds. And uh, But anyways, I'm a Gene Pass video coming out soon. On top of all that, if you have a JL... Um, I've been putting out, I, I just put out an exhaust video. I have a cold air intake video and a steer smarts video. So I'm sorry if you don't have a JL, but, uh, I just filmed those two. And the way you're going to notice that these are filmed is I'm not going step by step. This is how you put bolts in. I'm doing an unboxing and review and slash install video. So it's all three, but really I'm just going to give you, Hey, here's the product. This is why I bought it. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to give you a few quick, like, fast tips on, like, uh, I had to take this bolt off, do this bolt, and this was kind of hard. I got instructions from this place. Look in the link below, and then I'll give you an overview at the end of, like, maybe how it sounds and how we like it. All of these are going to be in culmination with I will be willing Sunday at Windrock. So if you see this video before Sunday and you're anywhere close to Oliver Springs or Oak Ridge, Tennessee, come on out and wheel. We'll be out there. Just hit me up on social. Um, but we're going to film at Win Windrock. And we're going to see how that new exhaust and the steer smart steering is doing and the uh, and the cold air intake. So I really want to make a video of, hey, this is Windrock. It's awesome or, or terrible. We're camping there, so we'll see. Uh, but here's some of the modifications I've done, and this is how they've done. Like, this is how they stacked up. 
Now, um, I have cat fab armor on there, and I'll give you guys a little peek over to, uh, if you see that over there, those boxes, um, those two long boxes are cat fab sliders. So those are a new thing that just came out, and so those are going to be going on the JL here very, very soon. Um, if I had uh, the time, I'd be installing them, but it's 2 o'clock the day before I'm supposed to leave, and I, need, I haven't even started packing. Um, and I don't think that they are a, well, I know that they're not a super easy install. I've got to do some rib nuts and stuff like that. Drilling in the side of the Jeep. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to just jump down that today because it'll end up being I'm doing that all weekend instead of wheeling. So, anyways, hopefully you have no damage before we go. Um, it's crazy that the sliders are here, but they're not going to get on. But they'll make the next trip. And I'll just be very, very careful in a Jeep that my wife and kids ride in all the time. Now, it'll just be me going up to Wind Rock, uh, but I'll have uh, quite a few people, uh, friends that are, uh, well, Brandon's gonna ride up with me in his Cherokee that we built here at Black Bear. And then uh, we're meeting uh, Kyle and all the good bros are gonna be there. My buddy Russ, uh, Adventure Russ, and uh, Daniel, team from Team SUV, will be there as well. Uh, pending that his transmission holds together because he's been having some problems with that. But I think he's going to be there. Um, Shelby, last minute, backed out. Dude, we're going to miss you, but there's going to be plenty more trips. It's going to be great. Um, so let me cover what's coming up, and I will reiterate this in November. But let me just throw it through quick. So we're going to have Imogene, past video coming soon. I'll film a campsite cocktail at Windrock. There's going to be a Windrock video. I'm thinking about making two separate videos for the two Badge of Honor trails, and if we do three... I'll make another video just so you can get these quick snippets of like what the trail's like and then you can decide if it's something you want to go run yourself, right? There's going to be two more JL installs coming in and we're going to have some LJ stuff coming up soon as well. Uh, hopefully we get some more YJ and JK stuff to diversify. But I'd love to be throwing 8 to 10 videos at you in the month of November and towards the end of October. Um... On top of all that, we have some events coming up. So, November's going to be busy, busy, busy. I will be at the Mountaintop Rodeo at the R Ranch in Dahlonega um, the last weekend of October going into the first day of November. We're going to be staying up there in some uh, the pretty primitive A-frame cabins, uh, checking out the rodeo, and might even ride some local trails. Uh, won't be a video on that, but uh, if you live in North Georgia, hey, the rodeo's a fun place to bring your kids. And it's really close to Grassy Gap and some of the trails up there. Um, it's close to Appalachian Trail if you like hiking. It's a beautiful place. Um, the following weekend, we are... i got to get this right now. The first weekend in November... Oof, I feel like I'm going to get this wrong. I don't know. Uh, I do know the 15th, so that'll be the second weekend in November. Man, why did I not know the first weekend? I mean, obviously the first weekend is November 1st, and then there's it would be the 7th. Yeah, I need to look that up. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up. Anyways, the next weekend, the 15th, we are doing a, um, a barbecue and brews event. Sorry for that whole my brain exploding section just right there. November 15th, we're doing a barbecue and brews um, event here at the shop at Black Bear Off Road. We're at 223 East Marino Street in Beaufort, Georgia. Now, there's an event for that. Just go on Facebook and look up Black Bear Off Road and uh and, and like us and subscribe to us and then you can go to the event and you can say i'm interested or i'm going or whatever but if you decide that you want to go there's limited to 15 spaces and those spaces are parking spaces so if you have a jeep that fits four people bring four people if you want but uh, you can only have one parking spot and we're limiting that for just really i only have so much room in the parking lot and i really don't want to have this massive huge event that uh, may not necessarily 
be as COVID friendly. We're trying to be sensitive somewhat to that, but we should have about 30 people here and it's going to be mostly outside. So I think we're going to be okay, but we're going to have a uh, free beer. So there'll be uh, like majority of it's going to be like PBR or Miller Lite, but we'll also have some craft beer, some IPAs and some stouts and some stuff like that, as well as we're doing a brisket and I think possibly a, a pork butt or something like that. Um, but I know for sure I'm excited about some brisket. Um, so we're gonna be smoking that on site. Uh, Kevin from Good Bros is gonna be doing that. And then the following weekend from that, uh, right now I have a tentative schedule to go and wheel a big frog loop. And I wanna do the whole loop. We've done the section of the, just the bottom and go camping with my family. Uh, I just sold my ARB Overland tent, the XL. And I'm looking at getting a smaller tent and I'll probably camp in this thing 30 times a year, but my family will probably sleep in it like twice a year. So going to smaller tent, is going to reduce weight, but it's going to be a little crimped for my family, the ones I'm looking at. Uh, I still have an air what I'm going to use, but you'll see that. And I think in the short term, I'm going to get a three person that's more economic and then I'm looking at getting a hard top going into next year um, because I got some things that I'm working on that are going to bring me in a little bit extra finances. And these hard top rooftop tents are pricey, but they're nice because I can just leave it on there and not really work. It's they're slimmer, they're more aerodynamic, and they're a lot of them are lighter. And I think they're just better protection overall going down the road. Now when they're deployed, I don't know if they're any better or worse. But I think uh, when they're not deployed, when they're just in their resting state, I think they're better to leave on full-time as a full-time rooftop tent. But leave your comments if you disagree. I, I'm learning as I go and experiencing this as I go and sharing it with you folks. Um, so the following weekend after that in November, and I know this should be more of a November update video. And we'll do one in November, but I'm just giving you time to plan. The following weekend in November is the... Uh, last weekend in November, which is right after Thanksgiving, we were doing a trail cleanup at Trey Mountain. And yes, the Chimney Mountain side of Trey Mountain is still closed. We won't be doing that. But I've heard as soon as you drive on Trey Mountain, uh, not on the Unicoi part side, but over there by the tube side is uh, where they have the flea market, that there's a campground down to the left and it is just full of trash. So we're going to hit that thing right off the bat. And I think that's going to be the most trash that we see, honestly. And then we'll just ride the trail nice, easy, slow, go all the way to the backside to Hiawassee and, uh, you know, maybe get some lunch or do something, maybe hit some more trails after that. But we're going to, you know, what we do is I don't always pick the hardest trails or the most, uh, uh, we're not really going out there for wheeling. We're going out there to clean the trails, but we also pick the busiest trails that we can find because that's where the most trash is gonna be. And the whole reason I even started these trails, uh, cleanup things, is because the chimney side of Trey Mountain has been closed and gated. And so we cleaned two before Trey, now we're tackling Trey. And I wanna take those three videos and send it to the proper authorities and hopefully say, hey, is there a way that this group that I keep assembling, these awesome people that keep showing up, that we could somehow with some other volunteers make an effort to do this on Chimney Mountain side and uh, of Trey Mountain and let's get it reopened and we can volunteer however many times a year that you need us to do it. If we need to bring in some gravel or some dirt or some small loaders or equipment, bobcats, then, then we'll figure it out. But let us help you if your resources are limited. Um, we're not rich, but I can get manpower. There's a lot of Jeepers out there and they're willing to help especially if it's just three or four hours on a Sunday um, and hanging out with the Jeepers. So that would be, uh, that's what we're going to do uh, towards the end of November. So just be aware that those events are all on uh, the Black Bear Off-Road uh, Facebook page. And if you're not on Facebook, you can always email me at info at blackbearoffroad.com. Uh, you can call us or text this number. It's 678-858-3946. Uh, that's our, like, basically our work cell. Um, if you have my personal cell or you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you want to message me there, feel free to do that. Now, some things I'm going to be adding, uh, blackrolfroad.com, 
Uh, we're continually upgrade, not upgrading, but I would say adding new products. We just added an Amazon store. So it's an affiliate store where you can go into the shopping area and it has some of the stuff that I buy on Amazon that I don't sell through. Um, I don't have any vendors to sell it through, but I, my, I personally buy these things on Amazon or I have bought them and use them and I like them. There's also the adventure section of blackberryoffroad.com. So you go to blackberryoffroad.com backslash adventures. And it's some of the trips and trails that I've done, and I'm basically writing a small write-up about it, and then giving you Gaia coordinates, and sometimes videos and pictures, and I'm also going to have some other people contribute to that. And so we're going to be building that up over time, and it's going to be a place where you say, hey, I'm looking for an adventure in Tennessee or Georgia or North Carolina or wherever it may be, and I wonder if Bubba's done it before. I just want to go to the state. What, what do they offer? be a place for you to go and look and get some new ideas for trips and get a little bit of basic information. So we're offering that absolutely for free um, and you can check it out on the website. We're also going to be pre-ordering hoodies soon. The samples are actually showing up next week uh, and uh, I got myself one that is a black zip up. Uh, I think it's plain on the front and then it says black bear on the back and it has a hood. And then Nicole got one that is gray. It's the uh, Bearded Bear logo. So that logo is going to be on the black one, the one's over my shoulder. And then the other one that's a circle one is going to be on just a gray, kind of gray heather hoodie, just a traditional hoodie with the bear, Bearded Bear on the front. Um, so we'll have some samples. We'll take pictures and we'll take pre-orders going into November. And uh, usually it takes two, three weeks and we can get those out to you maybe even faster. Perfect time as it's starting to get cool. Um, the reason I'm going with the black zip-up is... As somebody who does mechanic work, I'm constantly getting those gray hoodies dirty. So I, obviously I'm gonna get one of each. I'll wear the gray hoodie out, but I'll have that nice black one that zips up that if I get hot, I can like chain, you know, open it a little bit and get a little air in there. Um, let the let the boobies sweat, you know, whatever. Um, but the black's good, I'm not showing the grease and I can wear it over and over again. Uh, it's a lot of the times you'll see me wearing like, like shirts that I've been given for free by vendors because I, you know, can work in them and get them greasy and not worry about them. And, you know, I save all my Patagonia and North Face stuff uh, for going out. Not really. I wear this stuff out too. I wear my black wear shirts everywhere. Anyways, that's basically the update. That's everything that's going on in the whole Black Bear off-road Jeep and Bubba world. Um, we've been putting out videos as we can. And uh, we have a lot of them starting to pile up and store up. So I'm going to send those to you. Um, I did want to announce that I just received my first check from YouTube this past week. Um, digitally, not like in the mail. Uh, and it was 103 bucks. And I think we've accumulated $233 over the life of the channel. So the channel's actually been out since like 15 or 16 or something. But we started really creating revenue this year. It was like really the, the beginning and um there's channels that make thousands and thousands of dollars but uh just to get that first hundred bucks was like this is pretty cool and we did just recently buy an osmo pocket so it's a 4k camera and uh so i'm excited like we just got some new equipment and um pretty much the channel cost me money in in the sense that i bought like new phones and 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 gimbals and cameras to try to make the videos better and editing equipment but it's nice that it gives a little bit back. And actually, you know, I've gotten customers and made new friends and made new relationships. And, and so it hasn't cost me money. It's been a lot of give and take and, and I've been giving back and it's it's fantastic. I love having this channel. I love meeting people that watch the videos and, and uh, I love, you know, just being able to document uh, my whole uh experiences and everything that i'm working on and doing with you guys you know if you start from my very first video i'm working at jcr and i'm like i'm getting to do all these awesome trips i mean there's a rubicon video and i went to colorado and then all of a sudden i'm just this landscaper who's trying to make an online business who's now got a shop and who knows what it's going to be like in 10 years so i hope you guys are following along with the journey i'm excited i'm living it there's a lot of stresses and anxieties and um, I was just thinking today, man, if I could just win like $50,000, like, I don't need to be a millionaire. I just need like 50 G's. Like I'm ready to go full time and like, sure, they're business loans, but I prefer not to raise capital because that's a pay another payment you're going to have to make every month and it just makes it a little bit harder. And uh, anyways, it's just now I'm venting. We don't need to go too far into that. But uh, I've gotten a lot of great responses from you guys about certain videos and 
podcasts, things like that. So we're going to keep working on those, doing those. Um, do me a favor if you can. Just share any level of post pictures, videos that we do. Please like and subscribe to us anywhere you can uh, on the whole social media thing. And, uh, and just keep yourself safe out there. Plan some adventures. Eat your prunes. Take your vitamin D. It's all helpful things to do in these times. Um, and just uh, kick back and enjoy life as it comes, I guess. You know, these are weird, weird times. There's an election going on. There's a pandemic going on. None of that matters when you're cruising in your off-road rig on the trails. But guess what? Politics and government do matter when your trails are shut down and people are throwing trash on them. And, and uh, I had some buddies get in trouble for camping at a campsite this this like i won't get into all that but it's stupid and that's when you're like you know what these are public lands we should be able to use them sensibly with common sense and 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 i could get go off on a tangent about how trails should never be closed now if there's a tree across them let us the users figure that tree out you know we'll cut the tree up or winch it off the trail but don't just close it down give us an opportunity to fix it just because your resources are limited don't mean that us the peoples are but anyways keep your trails clean keep your trails clean now i'm going to do something that's probably disastrous and if you're still watching this video and hanging in there you probably like me so you probably don't care what i'm going to do is okay i was right it was disastrous actually shut the video down i was just checking out my calendar to see uh what i was doing that first weekend of november it's actually open so i'm either going to be working on the jeep because it'll be uh post wind rock and post rodeo and all those things uh and i will be uh getting the shop clean and ready for the next weekend for uh barbecue and brews or i'll be putting sliders on the lj or jl or i'll be working on my lj so probably a shop day and hanging out with family on saturday and working in the shop on sunday so if you want to come by the shop sunday just hit me up uh but besides that thank you for watching all the way to the end i appreciate it uh youtube has really added a lot of ads lately so i know you have to really want to watch this video all the way to the end so i do appreciate it um, again, eat your prunes, and as always, we'll be seeing you.